Hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Christian, and I'm a video content producer. So in today's video, I am gonna be going over a green screen, but more importantly, a green screen used for Zoom, because as you know, video calling is so popular now, and I mean, really, we're all doing it. And within video calling softwares like Zoom, we have virtual backgrounds, which, you know, myself included, people use a decent bit. There are a few problems with the virtual background, like just, you know, as is. Uh, and, you know, mostly, most people don't really care too much about the wonky issues with uh, virtual backgrounds. And I think you know what I mean by wonky background, like it gets all jumpy and for some reason, your your arm disappears in the in the uh, you know in the virtual background. It's it gets a little funky. Now this isn't really a problem for most people, I don't think. However, for people who are giving a presentation to say a paid group of clients or a company delivering their quarterly earnings to the entire company, if you're using a virtual background, you don't want that funky, wonky, weird, all of it, all that weird stuff going on because that's going to distract your viewers, your audience from what you're trying to say. And again, if you are saying something pretty important, you really want people to focus in on what you're conveying to them. So if you are one of those people who say, you know what, I really want to use a virtual background, but I need it to look as good as possible, then the green screen is going to be your best bet. Now let me let me show you this. This green screen I have here is collapsible. Just like a uh, portable projector screen, you just pull it up. and you're in business. Now there are a few things about the green screen that you need to kind of know before you just, you know, set it up and say like, oh, why isn't it working? And you know, it might work right out of the box, but you have to set up the environment right. So right in front of me, I have a double pane window uh, just pouring in sunlight. Kind of. I mean, it's a cloudy day, but I have nice, nice natural daylight coming in on me. I look really good. Uh, you know, you can fully see my face and the green looks really evenly lit. That's the big part, evenly lit. So you don't want any shadows or any dark spots or bright spots on your green screen, or at least not as many as possible, because when you create dark spots or light spots on your green screen, it starts to get a little wonky, which I will show. And you can actually see right here behind me that I have this really bad shadow. But on the zoom camera, since the window is right in front of me, just hitting me straight on, that shadow is literally right behind me. So you don't see it on the green screen. In this camera, you definitely see it, but this isn't our zoom camera, this is our Zoom webcam. So this is actually pretty good. Now, if you are giving a presentation at night or you don't have any windows in your office or anything like that, then you will need to turn on lamps and you know get some light in the room and just try and finagle the positioning of your laptop, of your green screen, so that, again, it's pretty evenly lit Otherwise, you might have some uh, wonky virtual backgrounds. So let's let's dive into the settings here. Choose virtual background. All right. So as is, this this is what. Let's get out of this. This is what a virtual background looks like. The green screen is not being applied right now. Like. It doesn't matter what's behind me. This is just the built-in virtual software or virtual background in the software. And I mean, you see 
one, half my fingers are like gone. Um, it looks weird. I'm moving around. I, I, don't, I mean, I know I have a haircut, but like, I don't know. It seems like my hair is just like shrunken in. Um, I don't know. It's fine. And if I'm just casually calling, if I'm just, you know, hopping on a quick meeting, whatever. But let's go back to our virtual background settings. And we'll take that off. So now in this, in the lower left corner, check I have a green screen and you actually get a new setting, which you don't see right now, but let's go back to the Golden Gate Bridge. One, this already looks better. Let's just move this off to the side. This already looks really good. Uh, this is just right out of the box. We don't see any more uh, like spill. Like we don't see the background in my hair. Um, my fingers look, I have all of my fingers. That's a plus, having all five of my fingers. Um, so it looks looks pretty decent. It's not foolproof. Um, like if you move around a lot, if you talk with your hands really fast, like this, you kind of see like there's weird stuff going on around my fingers. That's totally normal. That is, to explain it, it pretty much you have point A and point B and if you move really fast, the transition between point A and point B gets a little confusing for the software. So it doesn't know how to fully, you know, take out that, that green. So it gets a little weird, but if you're just talking like this, you're delivering your presentation, uh, this, this is fine. So let's bring this settings back. And now this is the, this is the icon that pops up. So if, if for some reason this didn't look right, right out of the box, you can click this button and this is, you know, on purpose, the, the background goes away. And within this screen here, you click on the most green spot of your green screen. So you can just click there. And then by clicking on that spot, it knows to uh, just take out all of that green and just for fun, this might get a little freaky. Yeah, there we go. I clicked on my skin and then it just takes out all of my skin instead of the green. So this is, I mean, this is a weird effect, but let's just, let's just go back to green. There we go. So picking the uh, most green part of the screen, the most evenly part of the green screen is, uh, is key to making your virtual background look as good as possible. You can change backgrounds, a nice, nice uh, grassy scene. <sighs> Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Do, 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 do. Engage. Perfect. All right, enough of that. So let's go back to the Golden Gate. You know what, no, we're gonna stay on space. I love space. We're gonna stay on space here. And we're gonna move this, move this away so we can see full screen here. You know how I was saying about the, like you really wanna have one shade of green, otherwise it gets a little confused, the software gets confused. Having that one shade of green is going to give you a clean, a clean uh, outline, a clean background. But what happens if you wear green or you have a green smoothie. Now you can see the green smoothie, which is good. You know, you don't want this to turn into the background. You notice how like the smoothie is a lime green versus the green screen is a green green. Uh, that, you know, they're both green, but they definitely look different. So we have We have our green picked, this green right here, which is different from our smoothie green. But because this is like brighter, I could, oh, 
Whoa, I'm a magician now. <laughs> Make it disappear by kind of, I'm like shading it. I'm shading it so it gets a little darker. And I'm also shading my face from the window light. But you see how now it's, now it's disappearing. Um, now it's kind of disappearing, reappearing. So instead of smoothies, apply this to clothing. Um, you don't necessarily want to wear any shade of green. You might be able to get away with it, but under the different types of lighting, uh, it might instantly disappear, like we made our smoothie disappear. So, um, yeah, just avoid green overall. If you're going through the effort to set up a green screen for a virtual call, you can also coordinate your attire. That's my opinion. Uh, just save you a world of a headache and you'll be set up. But that is about it for me today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want some more info on the green screen along with links and whatnot, uh, that is on my blog post at christiangalic.com. The link is in the description. And until next time, see you later.